Hello. Hi, we're back. Welcome to the Wild Geese <laughs> interview. The wonderful Deirdre, Deirdre Kane. Kane. Hooray. 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 <laughs> Why am I waving? This is like Deirdre. the audience over there. Yeah, there is. There was this. Oh, there they are. There. Okay, there you go. Find your light, love. Yeah. Find your light. YouTube. There's loads of people on YouTube watching you, Deirdre. So. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. We're delighted to have you. Thanks for coming in. I'm delighted to be here. I'm I feel a very fan special. of your work as oh, well. Oh, you heard it here first. <laughs> okay. Well, that means a lot coming from you. Yeah, yeah, Thank it does. You. So we were, we were looking up um, a few bits about you, but you are born in Drogheda, is that right? Drogheda? Drogheda. Will we'll we'll say, loud will in we, the house. Will we say the year? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 1968, no, the year not, of the troubles. We're not like other male interviewers now that have to ask you your age <laughs> from the know. jump. Believe me, there's plenty of female interviewers who are asking me my age as oh, well. Oh, really? Okay, fair Age enough. seems to be, seems to matter a lot to people, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah when it's... you're a woman it does, yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or if you're a man dating someone younger. Than yeah. your ages. But they definitely care less about men's ages than they do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they care less about what colour their hair is going and things like that. Or mm. <laughs> if they have a few wrinkles here and there, sure, Jesus. Oh, listen. Oh, it's hard to be a woman, isn't it? Oh, but it's much better to be a woman than a man. <laughs> yeah, true. It's good at the moment. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's good for you anyway. Go you're right you're having a great time. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's like well, we're very asking, hard that's work. That's how we met you with uh, backstage in Galway and, and Jojo Sutherland was there too. We, we meant You commented that this is great to have so many women at backstage. It doesn't happen that often. You know, so well, it's still a novelty. Off, yeah. It's still a novelty for me yeah, to, yeah. to go into a club and have women to hang out with. Because mm. yeah. for so long, I just didn't. Yeah. yeah. It was on my own. So, yeah, I find that very refreshing. And did you find when you were starting that the hustle like that, did you see, because, you know, was your confidence... Did you have to like overcome, like be more confident in the environment? Like, do you find because people always say, "What does it matter having women backstage or not?" But I always was the same too. It was less women backstage, but you're more confident when there's more women. I I think you know in our cabarets because there's just a lot of women there. A lot of the comedians that come to us, they're sort of relaxed and then they kind of can just be flourish in a way. Yeah, what I mean, at the time, I'm not sure that I was aware. I mean, I was aware that I was the only woman, but I wasn't thinking about that. Yeah, okay. and, and stand up is just hard. Like yeah. it's just hard, yeah. no matter what the circumstances are. So I think I was just terrified anyway. Mm. Um, so the, the fact that it was just surrounded by all men was sort of secondary. But I, I think it would have been a huge help to have someone to discuss it with, to discuss the work with. Yeah. Um. I didn't find they were great at that. They're 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 very macho. It's a very macho environment, yeah, and you didn't weren't as easy to show their vulnerability. I think and talk about how difficult it is. And oh Christ, that's a tough room. They're more inclined to put the positive spin on it. Go, oh well, it's grand, Hook them. Mm. whatever. Whereas I think women are much more open about, um, you know, the struggle of it. Let's say, yeah. Uh, and I would have loved a bit of that. Yeah, because yeah, actually Jojo had a, she said something very interesting when we were backstage with you. She said when it comes to female comedians versus male comedians, it's like a woman, no, a man is considered funny until he proves otherwise. Uh -huh. And then a woman is considered not funny until she proves otherwise. Do you find there's much truth in that or do you find it's just tough all around? I think less so now because okay. there's more women in the business. Yeah. But when I started... I made it my business to be very funny from line one. I did <laughs> not waste any time. I couldn't. I knew I couldn't because I could hear a little <gasps> sigh when I was introduced onto the stage because they just presumed that you wouldn't be funny and you wouldn't be good. Oh so I used to think I need to put them at their ease very fast. Yeah. Yeah. So what were some of those opening lines? Do you remember any oh, of the God. older? Uh, no, not really. Come I don't think swinging. I could dare to repeat them, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we love the stuff you do about oh, your dad. dad yeah. The, yeah, yeah, Deirdre. I'm so glad you're picking up on that bit. Yeah. Uh, because we have the same fathers. Yeah. Don't we? Essentially. Oh, what I, I think a lot of people would have the same dad. Oh, 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 answer, though, even though the funniest thing answer the phone, he still says, is that, is that, and our breather, well, obviously I'm a twin with the same voice, but sometimes, but it's like, but my name comes up on the phone. So <laughs> you don't either look at the name or just. Hello, oh, it's, yeah, oh, which one are you? Oh, yeah, so it just does that too. It's just, I just find it hilarious. Yeah. You get it, you get, like, mistaken. It happens to me as well, even though my sister is dead. And they're like, they're like, um, <laughs> oh. they're like, which one are you now? And I'm like, the one, the that's, one that's alive. <laughs> 
But I just love the way you take them off in your set. It's so funny. Ah, like. uh, thank you. Yeah, it, and it's funny. I'm I'm glad, delighted you're picking that bit, bit because it's not the bit that flies. It's a th- it's a bit of a thinker, and Please. I'm talking about the fact that my dad has passed away, and mm. it's a oh, so yeah. Sad. It's I consider it to be a kind of a slower bit of the show, mm. um, but I love it. So I I'm very I very glad that you did. Worked love very it. hard to get that bit to work. I yeah. yeah. Oh really? Mm. Yeah. And what is your kind of creative process like? Do you just sit down and be like, okay, I'm going to go start to finish? Or do things just come out of shows and you're like, okay, I must put that in? Or... I, I'm a kind of start to finish on a new show, but not in a particular order or anything. It always has to be restructured and rewritten. I mean, I don't know if my process is even the same every time I write a show. It's a little bit different, probably. Okay. Um, I started writing in the last couple of weeks, having having not written for a year. Because when I have a new show on the road, I'm allergic to writing. At that point, I'm going, okay, 75 minutes, you know, that's a lot of material mm. to, to polish and enjoy. So I'm just like, no, I, I don't have the headspace for writing. And then I get to the point where I realise, well, actually, love, now you, you need a new show, so you need to start. <laughs> I know, so we're terrorists for that as well. But way. your love, yeah. I see your first love is acting, right? It was. Yeah. It was. Because you're great. Like, Intermission is still my favourite film. I still yeah. think it's actually up there with my favourite Irish film, Anya, but your character just always gets me. I just love her. She's <laughs> so violent. In a funny way, just, but like, it's just, not violent, but just like, just at the end when you're getting to change the channel, whoever came up with that, it's just so good because they couldn't find the remote and, you know, so he, she's in the doghouse and she just keeps, no, no, I don't like that. Go and change it to <laughs> I need RT1. to watch it. I need to oh, watch it again. So, I, I, I haven't looked at it for 20 I, years. I oh need my to goodness. look at it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dear, dear. I think it's it's just it's brilliant. Time. The characters are so well. Yeah, I think like, you know, another Irish film like that is Jew, you know, kind of the way it was just the characters are so good, you know, yeah. like, even the simple things. Or another spin off to Fergus's Wedding. And Fergus's Wedding, too, is one we, of my a, a few people were like, ask her now ask about, her about Fergus's, Fergus's Wedding. wedding. Fergus's ask Wedding, her. yeah. How was know. that to film? How did that come about? Did it came about, it was the follow on to Paths to Freedom. So it's the okay. same team. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ian yeah. Fitzgibbon and Michael McLatton, who were friends and great writers and great, you know, Ian's a great director. and Michael's a good actor, but they they wrote it and uh, and then they cast people who like improvising and are good at it, mm. um, you know, relaxed with it. So um, I think that's probably why that show worked. And yeah. then Fergus's wedding was yeah after Path to Freedom. Yeah, mm. yeah, it's pretty. Didn't mm. keep going. It, it kind of. But you listen, yeah. you have yeah. to be asked. The broadcaster has to say that's a hit. Give us six more. But right, right. They don't. They don't. Yeah. They okay. don't. Weird. It it is. It's it's such it's, a good it's, thing. I know. It's, it's very strange. I mean, Paths Freedom was a hit. I don't. I to this day, I don't know why another six haven't been made. Mm. Um, I I know that certainly at one point the boys went back. I think fifteen years later and said, uh, "Let's do a follow up and see how Jeremy is fifteen years on from prison and and Helen see where they are now." Yeah, yeah. that'd be great. You know, and and Brendan, who played my husband in that, went on to be Mr. Bates in Downton Abbey and has a huge career. And Mac went on to do Game of Thrones. So these people have, yeah, yeah. you know, done done fancy things. Yeah. Um, and the Dear Joe Kane show. And the Dear Joe Kane <laughs> show. Well, she just keeps going, doesn't she? Oh, yeah. She's <laughs> on the hustle, hello. She's a, do, an do, eternal do, do, hustle. Do, do, but um, <laughs> but we, even with that cast, we couldn't get another six commissioned. Yeah, it's it's, yeah. it's 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 so hard to know. Yeah, yeah I'm very uh, grateful for the fact that we can write jokes and get up and do them because otherwise mm. I think I'd lose my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. at least it's there for, now as well. You yeah. know, it's been created. It's there, and people yeah. are still enjoying it. Yeah, <laughs> and you and you just go on to the next one, and you're not waiting for permission, and you're not waiting for a producer, you're not asking someone yeah. to do another draft. It's yeah. great. It's great freedom in it. Yeah, well, yeah I, I agree with you that well, we quite like that with our cabaret shows too. We were waiting for people to kind of, you know, even put us in our cabaret and we decided we'd just start our own. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah. That's it. So that's, that's undermine. It. Undermine. <laughs> undermine. Always undermine. But uh, do you like yeah. the hustle? I was asking you, do you, have you always enjoyed the hustle? Do you like selling tickets and do you like... No, I hate the hustle, Rita. <laughs> who loves the who hustle? Likes the who hustle? likes the hustle? Who likes the hustle? No. Um, I would like my tickets to sell themselves. Yeah. <laughs> it's tiring. Life is hard. Yeah, it is. Especially it is. in the um, arts. It is. But I've made peace with the hustle. Okay. okay. Yeah. I've made peace with it. And I accept that it just goes with the territory. And, and, and it's a relatively small price for what we, in relation to what we were just talking about where you're 
maybe if you were trying to make some TV or, or, or make a movie. I mean, I live with the filmmaker, so that world. Oh, I mean, that's cool. Sweet God. Like, you, who, who's got the pay? I don't have a very patient personality, so <laughs> I, I couldn't be dealing with it. Like, I, I, I can't. And my mouth runs, so I, <laughs> I, would, I don't have the patience. Yeah. So I have to be and am very grateful for the fact that I can create, have an idea and just get up and do it. Mm-hmm. That is, that cool. yeah. is has, there's a lot of value in that. Mm. No, I hear you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and I'm not having to wait for somebody else to. Yeah, pick, or wait I agree. For the phone to ring as an actress like I did for 10 years, waiting for somebody to give you a job. Yeah, because in their mind, especially I used to go to an odd audition, but I also <laughs> think like, well, they already have a picture in their mind of who they want. So really, you know, yeah. just like, okay, next, next. Do you ever do day, background work? Like um, extra work, extra oh, I work. Did yeah, back in the day. Yeah, that's yeah. tough so going. Strong. So, <laughs> yeah, so it literally. Even though I was in, um, I was in um, bad sisters though as a guard. So oh, she was. Yeah, yeah. Was it Bono's daughter? Bono's daughter said, Bono's she, daughter said she looked great, and I, was like, I didn't know who she was. I was like, oh, thanks. Yeah, you look great too. <laughs> uh, you know, but I didn't. I honestly didn't know. She's who a she was We're not allowed to call her Bono's daughter. Yeah, sorry. sorry. We have Ellie. to call her Eve. Eve. Ellie. Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Ellie? <laughs> who the Tell us about Ellie, Ellie. Rita. Ellie. Ellie Houston's daughter. Sorry. <laughs> so that won't make it in. <laughs> <laughs> ah no, you have to leave that. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah, the film called I Killed Bono or something. Was it so? Oh yeah. What was it? Killing Bono. Killing Bono. Killing Bono. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> you forgot. Oh yeah, I forgot. Like, there's a movie here now. And, not, like, and not only do I forget, but there's there's several movies that I have not seen that I. Oh no fair. Yeah. Didn't even watch them. Fair enough. Not intentionally. I just, yeah. Just didn't I didn't up. make that screening or that screening, and oh never, yeah, just yeah. Never sat down to watch it. Just, I don't. I don't enjoy looking at myself. I'm too. Far too critical, and all I can see is all the flaws and all the things that are wrong. So I oh, jeez. What are you looking at it for, dear? It's not doing any good. Stop. Will you watch this? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Brilliant. No worries. Someone else will watch this, hopefully. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Eve Houston, maybe. Eve Hi. Houston, yeah. Hi, Ali. Um, well, I'm your Vanguard if you want me to be. <laughs> but uh, I just want to but trek please. back a small bit as well, because I'm always curious about, like, comedians and how, like, were you, because I, I read, according to Wikipedia, yeah. uh, you went to a Catholic <laughs> girls' school, a boarding school. Yeah. And um, like, were you, like, a bit of a class clown or, like, was it hard for them to get to sleep? Because you were just, uh, like, I have visions that you were just, like, goofing around. Wild. Keeping everyone up. I wasn't wild. I wasn't wild like you two are wild. I wasn't, um, I wasn't, I don't think I, wa- I was a class clown, but I, I was a bit of a one. Like, I, I was, I impersonated teachers. I impersonated Oh, me yeah. too. Priests. Nora's great at that. Good at impersonations. I think that's a classic, that's a classic indication, isn't it? Yes. And there's a lot of comics who, that, that seems to be, to yeah. be uh, a starting point. Yeah, and acting as well, because you're just really able to well, embody. Well, I wanted to be an actress. That, I mean, that, yeah. was, that was my thing. Like, mm. I, the comedy never entered my head. I didn't even know it was a thing. Yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, so I did that. Uh, but I don't think my classmates would have thought, Oh, she, she's hilarious. Right. Only when I did get up to do. And then I would have been one of the leads in the musical. Do you know what I mean? I always yeah. would have been oh, up nice. there oh. playing one of them. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Not yeah. necessarily star. Could, could, you, could, could you give us a, a little taste of any of the impressions? <laughs> <laughs> do you want well, to check out? There was a, there was, you know, it brought back to memory to me now. There was a principal who was from the north of Ireland and we used to have a, an assembly and she would always say, uh, two prisoners looked out from behind bars. One saw mud, and the other saw stars. What do you see, girls? That was, that was her analogy. Do you see the mud? She basically compared us to prisoners. Do you see the mud, or do you see the stars? And I used to think, well, I'm not in a prison, or am I? <laughs> well, she was like, I see the stars every time. Oh, yeah. the, stars. oh the stars! See the stars! I am the star. Yeah, yeah. exactly. I'm and then they're or... lining up to say, "Dear Dog." <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. Well, that's funny. Yeah, no, the all girls school. Uh, I, I, my mother used to threaten to send me to boarding school. And I was so bold in school. You know, went to the convent in Banlaslow. But uh, Tommy Tierney went to Garbally. You know, there was a, there was a boarding school in Banlaslow. Garbly, he was a boarder as well, was he? Yeah, no, because oh. he was the same. His parents kicked him out and sent him to Bella's mm. law because he's, I'd say, we were similar that way. But, uh, yeah. so did your parents love you? No, <laughs> yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> Do your tree, Do your tree. Do your tree. Get, get out there to boarding school. Yeah, did all your siblings go? They did, yeah, yeah. all five of us. Oh, uh, so my dad had months. been to a boarding school, I think ah. they just thought that was a very fancy. 
thing. I think it was better and for your education, I suppose, or something. Well, it, yeah, I mean, it's it's not. It's not, because I would have been ways. distracted by all the women. I'd say, Jesus. <laughs> well, if you were gay, it would have been ideal. Yeah, it would have been. I'd say yeah. definitely. Perfect. Like, yeah, perfect. Exactly. Perfect for the nuns and all. I mean, yeah. you know, it's, the, it's the perfect lockdown environment. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Okay. But, uh, was there any, like, boys' school nearby that you could, like, at least hop the wall or end in? <laughs> Not really. I mean, I did hop the wall and hang out a bit, but nothing major happened. You yeah. know, bold. Well, oh yeah, always. Yeah. Always, always bold. Mm. Happened. I got the necklace. Look. Oh my oh, God! Yeah, fabulous. Margaret O'Connor. She yeah, was on Margaret Emil O'Connor. as well. Yeah. Yeah. Emil. Yeah. So we have that. Oh, there she is. There she is. Find your light. Okay. <laughs> and we had um, <laughs> well, Margaret so O'Connor. Bold. Did you see your 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 daughter is going to Lear, and so she's following your acting's footsteps. Then. Well, now we don't know that she's been accepted okay. into the Lear. Yeah, but she's auditioning. Auditioning. But she's into acting. Well, he's into acting. Oh, amazing. Drama school. Oh God. What age is she? I have failed. I have failed. <laughs> Oh, that's what all my friends said to me. You fucked up, do you? <laughs> Badly. It's not not for the lack of warning on my part. Going, don't do it, love. There is no work in this business. Mm. But listen, it's it's. There's no avoiding it. It's in the walls. She might know. travel. Yeah. You know, she might go to. But drama school is America. good. I found drama listen, good for self development, and you know, we might get into something else. Or no, that's tell her. Tell her I'm, have I'm a side ambulance. hustle. Tell her to get into Thailand. So yeah. we were saying this with um, so, Kiki. Kiki I mean, said that. Yeah, you know. do your art, but also, do you know, have a trade. Have, have a trade. So to hustle. So, Thailand. Yeah. Thailand. <laughs> oh, tell her, <laughs> Thailand is... Um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, apparently, apprenticeship now, they pay you to be a Thai. The women women get a free apprenticeship. You get yeah. paid as good as, like, you were actually a qualified Tyler. Mm. And you're un- a Bonnie well, Tyler. Let's you're into that. I'm calling yourself Bonnie Tyler. I might do it myself. But it depends if you like patterns. You put on a blonde wig and then call yourself Bonnie Tyler. And then just go in there and be like, Bonnie Tyler. Turn around. <laughs> like, turn. The, it was, did she sing that one? She did, yeah. I yeah. need a Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> I'm calling no, but I, I just think, because, I mean, it, it, it could work. If someone was wearing the headphones, you could just do whatever. I, monotonous stuff like that. I worked in a factory once. Eight days I lasted, nearly. <laughs> Well done. Broken I mean, it lasted eight enough. days. What kind of factory? It was Kerry Foods. I was putting like the cheese strings in the Mon- in the Mondini line, putting the cheese God, strings into how, the And tell us pack. now, was that, was that I, After a while, I was like, when's this going to end? And it was never ending. It was like, no, it's remember a- I missed uh, two, I was the stage room and two of them were going up the way with no cheese string in. And this woman across me put my, put the cheese strings in and it hit me in the head with the cheese string. Wow. I was in wake up. Okay, God, like, that's tough work. Now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it is. Oh my God, that's brutal. Your ADHD that, must have been really struggling with that, like. Well, at that well, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> then next thing you went to do another job, but you had to get all the ham. You know, ham was going up all them. It's the dairy really lunch packs. You know, they're like, yeah, so gross. And then the smell of ham, and then you'd like the funniest thing. You'd get you'd all this like white. You know. It's like a coat Jumpsuit. and right. so you feel like a doctor, but you're not. You're yeah. the, you're a dairy lady. White wellies <laughs> and, and it's so loud. That you have earmuffs in and you have like a thing on. So, but then you've got a 15 minute breaks so which take all this off. Everyone's just stripping off, just to jump in, have a quick cup of coffee and a cigarette, and come back in or whatever. But like people, I I saw a man like shoving. He's eating a sausage whole. He must be working there a long time, and he just knew how to eat Aww. five sausages in six, five minutes. Eating them whole. <laughs> I'm getting quite depressed. I'm not going to lie. That I, that's, I think it that's might have been so game destroying. Right. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I do admire anyone who does factory work. It's, it suits um, some people. It does suit people. You know, sometimes I wake up and I'm like, I wish I did have a, a, a regular job that I could just go to do. And then come home. Do you know what I mean? Because like oh, the no, there's is a so lot hard. to be said for. Do you um, know, I don't know about the factory work, but there's a lot to be said for a job. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice to have a job. <laughs> what was there, some of the random jobs you had? Oh, yeah. Do you have any um, before you were an actor or in between? Uh, I mean, really, I did. I did very little. Uh, I, I mean, I, <laughs> it's like in terms of jobs. Or I was a. I was a. I did promotions in a supermarket. Soup, I was going to say, yeah. yeah. Crazy prices. Uh, taste was, taste I these. I sold a drink called Pokari. It was a Japanese uh, drink. Pa- Pokari, bigger than milk in Japan. <laughs> uh, this was my tagline and I used to do my best to sell that. Pokari, bigger than milk in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> so people were passing me by in the Stevens Green dull stores. Oh, like, wait a minute. Bigger than milk? And, and listen, I had a tracksuit that had Pocari written across the sweatshirt. Pocari written Did you keep it? Leg. I had a hat. I did me eye keep it. Oh, I, I did once go for an audition at my lunch hour and went in in the Pocari 
tracksuit. I mean, how how green, how stupid do you have to be like? <laughs> My little nepo baby, she'll never, she'll never go anywhere in a Bacari tracksuit she's because she's been raised by somebody who's like, you, you don't do that, love, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's the nepo, that's the nepo <laughs> advantage. The nepo little baby. green horn here. Uh, you know, imagine. What were your, just your, your favourite, what was your kind of favourite thing that you did, like between a film or a play? Oh, what was that play? I mean, something about a pig dyke? Oh, or the, the, at the Black Pig's Dyke. Yeah. The Black Pig's Dyke. It's not about lesbians. <laughs> yeah, we were very... <laughs> damn it. Well, forget that Sorry. question. Sorry. <laughs> <and then, laughs> <Okay. laughs> Next question. Uh, uh, so, the, <laughs> was that a good play? What was that like? That was a phenomenal play. I mean, yeah. it was a huge hit and it was really my first it job. It. it was oh, really, really my first proper job. Yeah, everything yeah, before that was a bit... You know, yeah, not mm. yeah. That was my first because it was Druid, and you yeah. know they're pretty mm. amazing. And it mm. toured for all over the world, and I for two years it was. Oh, really? uh, was it Mrs. Funny? You were Miss called? Funny. Miss Funny. Miss funny. Or you're like not Miss. <laughs> yeah, but it's funny. Yeah. Well, what was it about? Is it accurate? Why the Black Pig's Dyke was another name for the border, and oh. it was about a relationship, uh, a Protestant oh, man and a Catholic yeah. girl. It was it was a love story oh, that was right. essentially entangled up with the troubles. Oh. Uh, yeah, very yeah. nice. And then you go from that. To winning the Maureen O'Hara award. Maureen O'Hara? Yeah. 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 <laughs> like 20, 20 or 25 or 30 years later. Yes. <laughs> yeah, still, oh, still. Still. Yeah. Great segue there, Laura. Think about, well, you know, <laughs> from what was to what became. Yeah. It's inspiring. Yeah. I'm inspired. inspired. I'm, I'm, all right. I'll take, it, I'll, I'll, take it, I'll take it all day. Um, Were you honored? Were you excited? You're just like, oh, it's just sitting on the mantle as an ashtray it's now. The so. Maureen O'Hara. <laughs> Listen, any, any award, any acknowledgement of the graft yeah. <laughs> is very welcome. Mm -hmm. um, it's nice. I, I, we do take a few things like that, I think, for granted. I, I've had a, a fair few if denominations, and I. You know, I remember once working with a, an actor who was amazing. He was an older man. And I was telling him I'd had a nomination for an IFTA. And I was make, playing it down. And he said to me, God, I've never been nominated for anything in my life, ever. Aww. And I suddenly thought, God, dude, you're awful cavalier now. You know, mm. you want to be a bit more grateful mm. for the bouquets that get thrown at you. You know, mm. I really did. It's nice to get a bit of acknowledgement, isn't it? Absolutely. It's, yeah. it's lovely. Yeah, it's lovely. especially when they're not bought. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like the Grammys. Um, but also, uh, I forgot what I was going to say there now. I forget. Something about Maura and Ahara. Oh, yeah. Did you win a night with Maura, was it? Or what did, you get? <laughs> did you get? Maureen get dead. <laughs> Maureen. <laughs> Maureen. Maureen. Yeah, it's a night with Maureen O'Hara. Yeah, Maureen O'Hara. I didn't, but I was honoured. I was. Yeah. Did you ever she, meet she was her? a fine woman. I never met her, no. Oh, yeah, did you? No. No, no. I almost no, she was ahead she of her time. To, yeah, live in uh, West Cork, and I lived in West Cork for where she lived in. Well, Glen Gareth kind of thing. Yeah, so. that's right. Mm. So she's always out and about. You know, the locals loved yeah. her. Because she, they just loved her. You know, she was really, yeah. you know, the, I mean, the she glamour was she was standing brought. up. She was doing the Me Too thing. Yeah, long oh, time. yeah. The Time's Up yeah. thing. Yeah. Long before anybody yeah. else. Imagine how difficult it was. I oh. Imagine back then. Yeah. Just told to shut up. I just like, down, no, I like the idea she wouldn't be told to shut up and sit down. She no, had a good Irish no. tongue on her. She had a great brain and she just was, I guess she did have this. Like, inbuilt like I'm not going to be talk, talk to like that you know I know my my respect you know she just was mm. really respectful of herself it's very clear in all of her work and like even John Ford I can even you know watch call him that racist fella oh John Rain John Wayne the Ooh. racist the lad. racist <laughs> the racist John lad. Wayne loved her my god he absolutely loved her yeah like, who wouldn't yeah not yeah I just want to backtrack again because this is something I wanted to ask you but do you remember your first time doing stand-up do you remember the very of first course. time was it terrifying? Oh God, yeah. Yeah. Doesn't Where was everybody it? remember their first? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I mean, it was horrific. It was in the international bar in the cellar. Oh, uh, okay. Where we met the last time we yes. were and um, I had had a couple of months to prepare for it. Somebody just gave me an open spot when I, I sort of said I wanted. I was thinking about doing it, and then in a twist. Um, a documentary, RTE were making a documentary about comedy and I got a call asking me, would I be up for my gig being filmed? Oh, so my Jesus. very, very first stand-up gig was televised and, oh. di and did go out on the RTE <laughs> one. Wait, RTE. I know. And I remember, I think because I had been an actress for 10 years, you know, I think I just, I was just quite green and naive about it all I think I just thought oh well sure look if you're going down go down in flames you know you might as well go down 
We were not terrified had, though that it was terrified. also being filmed. Terrified beyond, but I must no, but she have had. Acting. Yeah. She was acting. Yeah, the acting must have had a belief. Yeah, you know, yeah. act confident. Exactly, there is an yes. in belief. I, I definitely believe that no matter how terrified you are, you just some small bit of belief in there that you're you you are right for this. You know, there is no way that any yeah. of us are doing what we do without really believing. Yeah, I'm good at this. Yeah, yeah, I know how to do this. Yeah, yeah. yeah, even if you know it's a struggle and it's hard, but um, you just I just don't think you put yourself in that position, do you? No, no. My dad used to put up little posters in our room saying "Believe in yourself." That was his favorite saying. I mean, that is really isn't that that's like an older man time from Island, right? You know, and that's ahead of yourself. Well, he prophesied, you know, like maybe he wasn't told it because they were too busy, you know, like going over to Scotland to pick potatoes to pay for their own potatoes. Back Are you from Ackle? My father's from Mackle Island, oh my yeah. God, I would, Lavelle, sure. One of Lavelle. my favourite places. Oh, really? Like a sheep. Yeah. yeah, Lavelle is a very popular name in... In Ackle. Wow. Mm-hmm. We're an island girl. Yeah, <laughs> that's the part of the wildness now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe. Well, you're both from the West. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's We're the dark hair. Every day. It's very it's dark sweet, hair. your dad. Like, that, that's that unusual. Is, yeah, it is. That is a so very it unusual. So, it definitely part helped. Time. And, like, maybe helped too much because I became a stripper, you know? <laughs> Well, <laughs> let's talk about that. Can we talk about that? Talk away. Because uh, for me, I th- I find that so fascinating that you're such a free spirit and you're from the west of Ireland. <laughs> How do those two things go Well, together? I mean, like my mom is from Limerick. I grew up predominantly in Limerick, though. And um, OK, well, not, yeah, not yeah. that. <laughs> that do it. Not that far west. <laughs> yeah. But no, well, obviously city. spent a lot of time in Ackle, but um. I don't know. I just always, yeah. My parents were very supportive, and they were very open about everything. How did you even? Get, but they how weren't. Did this, how did this enter your head? Where, where did you first see it? How did it come? Oh, out? I don't know. Dita um, von Tees. Mm. But oh. sure, I grew up in the days of MTV, VH1, and you know yeah. things like that. So, um, I yeah, I saw her on TV, and I was like, whatever that is, I want to do that. Isn't because, that just amazing? So straight yeah. away you saw it. And yeah, and was like that. Mm. Yeah. I'm Fascinated my mom used to get me books, uh, 1950s pinups as well. And I thought pinup was really beautiful. Like, yeah, and a lot of the as women, it is, yeah. as it is, and, and you know, and, and Dida herself was very pale. And like, I was yes. around a lot of women that were tanning, like really fake tanning all the time. Yeah. And I was like, I just want to. So then I saw like the, the winged eye and the red lip and the pale skin. And I was like, oh, that that now seems like a lot less effort but than the old tan. I mean, I suppose the reason I'm, I'm saying, you know, you know, I get all of that, but it's unusual because I, I guess we consider ourselves to be fairly repressed. I oh, think, yeah. Compared to yeah. even the hotter countries, that even the hotter climate, <laughs> yeah. I think is more conducive to getting your clothes off. Yeah. We're just very wrapped up. We we're are. Very, we're yeah, awful we're cold and we're very yeah, wrapped yeah. up. So it's very refreshing it's and true. very different. Oh, it's, it's big anyway. The to cabaret scene is big in Ireland now. It's There's getting there. It's underground for sure. Think but it's conservative. But not it's, for long, I'd say. Not for long. But it's very, has it's very popular following. Like, you know what I mean? We've taken like, our time now. We've taken we've our time. We've taken our time a bit, all right. But at the sure, same token. A, can you remember oh, the first time anyone like was naked showering after a camogie match? <laughs> you know, everyone used to wear their brand knickers in the shower. That's the point. What? Yeah. Oh, okay. that's shampoo, that's shampoo and conditioner. I, I, mean, I don't conditioner. know how it is now, but I. But I wonder I how wonder. it is now. Actually, imagine the first question asked girls. So do you shower naked girls? Yeah, and girls, you, you've no problem taking your tops off in front of each other, do you? <laughs> I mean, my my clothes, would, for example, would be very private. We don't wear no, clothes. They, you wouldn't be saying. Yeah, I, we we are else. of yeah. that. Yeah. I didn't necessarily grow up in like a naked household either. Like my no, parents were just something hard in grafters. Your spirit that's not repressed. I think yeah, it's the it's true. definitely not the oppressed. spirit. But then so. at the same token, my parents being supportive, especially my father as well, being like Asher, do what you want. Do you know this kind of way? Ah, listen, I just think that's phenomenal. And because I remember, I remember seeing page page three of the Sun. There was always a naked woman on page three yes. of the Sun, and me and my sister were like, "Oh my god, mom, what if we wanted to grow up and do that?" And she was like. Well, as long as you are happy, you know. Don't show a nipple. Yeah, but maybe don't show a nipple. And I didn't. <laughs> She's <laughs> never shown her message. nipples. But even if you do want to show your nipples. Message, though. Like, yeah. Well, that's, not nor- that's not a common reaction. They were, they, my parents were incredible. Wow. Were. Are. What do they do? Are they artists or are they, are they no, no, no. My dad is just you know grafter. You know, my mom was a it's grafter. Neither dream. of them got to go to college. You know, they just they just worked their cons off basically to afford a mortgage in Ireland, <laughs> and we did okay. We did all right, but we always just had the crack. 
You know what I mean? My dad's artistic, plays tin whistle, bagpipes, Ackle Island okay. band, yeah, you know, and all that. Music's but, there all you know, right, very yeah. standard. No, no, I find about, because of hanging out with Laura and her father and their family, like the outside of the family, they are all very open. And, you know, even your dad, the way he'll play tin whistle or sing a song at Christmas. My parents, we don't do that really. We don't really have a sing song. Even all of us are really musical, but we never really had a jam much. Mm. Until I lived in Dublin, my sister we used to always have sing songs then, but never really at home. And what about so your family? Know. Were they yeah. artistic? You no. Know? Uh, it's in there. It's in, it's in yeah. there. It's in yeah, there somewhere. I mean, Where? Uh, what pocket? <laughs> yeah, what pocket? It wouldn't have been uh, as obvious as the, the musician, you know, instrument playing or anything like that. But uh, my mother is funny. She's a... She's a storyteller. Oh, great. I would say a very good storyteller. Oh, great. Um, and my father did play piano. Sorry, God. <laughs> That's shocking. I almost like, just forgot that or didn't Aww. mention it. Yeah. He, he did play piano and his he, they were musical and a lot of his aunts were ran the Amdram and Drada. And so, it's, you yeah. know what I mean? It's, it's in there. The, there. I get you. all there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Nice, you nice. You don't have to dig too deep to find it. You know, yeah. Well, oh, that's find, a... Yeah. Now, yeah. don't get me wrong, the, the reservedness was there a bit. Like, my father would panic every now and again and be like, would you not be a guard? Would you not be a teacher? <laughs> a stripping guard. Do you know what I, mean? <laughs> I was, was like, was there a funnily moment enough, Dad, I have to, the outfit. But was there a moment when you had to say... I'm I'm going to be a stripper. Did you have to announce it, or did it just was it just something that happened? No, I day? just I just did it. Um, I'm still don't know to this day if he knows about the strip club strip club stuff, but I I tell him like I don't care, you know. But he just knows he knows she's gonna do what she and wants. And now I can I can I ask a question now? Yeah, it's <laughs> your show. I'm aware. Yeah, we're on the Joe Joe Kane show time now. Time to yeah. take over. <laughs> We've always no, just because you asked me about my first stand up, I'd love to ask you about your first. What was it like the first time you took your clothes off? I mean, how terrifying Berlin, is that? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I, I did a course, like I did a thing in London where I was on my co-op. Yeah, a course, like a 12-week course of like becoming a burlesque performer in London. Gosh. And they have a graduation show mm. at the end. I wow. tried to do something similar at Limerick as well, but COVID messed it up. It's still coming. But um, and then my so my very first performance was on a stage in front of a, a, a crowd. And then my cousin who I'd invited, my gay cousin, yeah. um, I was like, come on down and see this. He brought my aunt. Do you know? And yeah. I was just like, Teresa. all right. Uh, but yeah. Teresa's a legend. But at the yeah. same token, I was like, oh, God, does she know what she's in for? And I was like, at least she'll see the show and get acclimatized for what's coming up. Yeah. They put me on first. Oh, sweet Lord. So I was like, open in the I show. Feel, I feel ill now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stressed. Like, no, I'll know. never forget it. It was Frank Sinatra, Black Magic. And I had like a card dress. Still have it. Still fits. No, <laughs> <laughs> For you, <laughs> just about, and um, yeah, and I, 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 I thank God the footage isn't on YouTube anymore because it is a small bit embarrassing. And was that a long time ago? Many years ago, I want to say that was probably 2014, 13, or something like that. Nice, so you're coming up for 10 years. Oh, yeah, Dude. yeah, oh, I've been in a long time, God, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, mm. I suppose you get used to it. I love it, like, there's something very you? freeing about it, even my very first time in the strip club because I've never actually gone topless before. Mm. And the very first time I took it, there was this like whoosh of warmness where I was like, This feels great, amazing, funny, amazing. isn't it? Did you watch Pamela? The, I did, did yeah, very inspiring. Yeah. Even she Wasn't had she? moments where she was like, That was me reclaiming well, what she said about her Playboy shoot. It was just a moment yeah. of, Oh my god. <clears throat> I like this is I I'm loving this. This is for yeah. me. Yeah, this, this is, is amazing. She could find. But then, like you know, the it, patriarchy yeah. and misogyny would think that same thing is what stopped her from getting you know justice for what happened to her. You know what I mean? Because her private stuff was leaked, and they were like, "Well, you've done Playboy, so you don't have a right to privacy." Basically, yeah. and she was like, "I don't think that doesn't make you know what I mean." So yeah. we still have um, roads to. To walk, but but we've come a long way. We've come, come a long, long way. way. We have um, come a long. I way. think when a girl from Limerick is <laughs> off doing a course in the London and stripping, <laughs> the and London, I think that we have come a long we way. We have, we have, and to go back yeah. to UL and be like, I, I, they were like, because you know, part of what I had to do was train in a new form of dance. And so when everyone in the course was like, oh, I went and I did jazz and I did ballet. And mm. I was like, I did streaming. <laughs> I did burlesque. I did burlesque. And they were like, right on. Mm. Could you show us? <laughs> no, I'm I'm but there is, so we're just com commenting the last week, there's a candlelight cabaret. There's loads of cabarets popping up in Ireland now, like lots. 
Like and when you say you know, cabaret, do you mean burlesque? Burlesque. Cabaret. cabaret There's a market when for When people it, say burlesque oh, and cabaret, they kind of put burlesque and cabaret. We just yeah. call cabaret, I just see it as a variety show. It's a variety show. Where you have like, so you have one on Friday we have, now we have singers, we got burlesque dancers. Comedy, and we have a comedy, jugglers, you know, it's like, it's where you just go wild. We'll have to have you. Yeah, I have to have you. At our yeah, one. Yeah, and the one in Limerick as well is unhinged. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, Spice yeah. Bag. Spice Bag is incredible. Cabaret That's as well in stuff, Dublin, yeah, as well. Yeah. the Dirt Bird and Stefan Fay. Um, they, they they're not doing do it at the much, moment, yeah. but they they did used to do it in tone. <laughs> it, it actually it's a, it's a, it makes sense that it's coming back. Mm. Yeah. How did why did it go away? Cabaret it never went away huge. really. In Ireland though. Yeah, maybe I there was a lull there. I mean, because you know, like you said, you know, just being put it, down. I mean, it became very commercial, but the jury's cabaret was a thing, and that was never. Proper yeah, cabaret. See, we're not talk, talking. Yeah, about, we're not talking about, talking about much cabaret. Art, some like more authentic RT cabarets. Yeah, cabaret where, means, <laughs> it would be very cabaret. Actually, means dinner and a show. So maybe they're talking about cabaret like that, where well, you sit down was. and have big singers. Yeah, but, yeah. It's but we mean like name. it's changed. It's changed filth, the meaning. A lot Again, of a lot of a lot of activism. Yes, Liza Minnelli in Liza that movie Manali cabaret. Yeah, that's cabaret to me. Yeah, activism happens. You know, I mean, yeah. You know, because there was a time where, you know, stripping was illegal, you know, so but underground it, I th- it went. I do think just yeah. I still don't know the nudity the laws. Bridget, you know, the Bridget weekend was very powerful, I think, this this year, because I think women in, in the arts are coming up, you know, and open and coming out, I think. And, you know, we like even they had projections of different kikis on the on the on the GPO and oh, different, her artwork. And, and Dima yeah. Rooney, they had like her very Growler vulva they had her, her <laughs> vulva her like but she's also but they had her piece where it's like you know about lady, mother and baby homes like they're showing art from women's perspective and mm. I think from entertainment perspective it, women are now finally able to get up on stage yeah. just let, you're just, we're just thrown off the shackles of the especially church especially in comedy I that's really what it is especially no, in comedy I think the next generation are different you, I think this is a good time to mm. be a woman I think yeah. Yeah. we're having you're, a you're moment you're certainly having blazing the trail there but I've been blazing the trail for 30 yeah. years yeah, so yeah, like years. I'm not blazing but the trail lately it's I, been quite I, on fire you know <laughs> I've been around for ages yeah <laughs> yeah so but you were you were still blazing through them though like even back then you know yeah yeah well, yeah. it was. Well, we we so, are. Well, you uh, you took the knock. So, or you you was it? Hello. <laughs> she, was it? You, you, she's telling you me hurry on, and then you she's walking. walking so we could run. Exactly. exactly. That was it, dear. Yeah. Thanks for that. Anything <laughs> anything else coming up that you'd like to say? You've got coming well, up now. I should promote my tour, right? Good. Do okay. I have the reading glasses on. <laughs> When does your podcast go out? Like, this will go. We're going to put this out in next, in next week, maybe to promote it, won't mm-hmm. we? Okay. But um. Okay. I know you're in Let her talk. Galway. Well, you know I'm in Castle Bar, but that's this weekend, so that's no good. Moat is sold out, thanks be to God. Nina, would anybody from Nina like to come and see oh, me? Oh, the tip Nina. Girl, I'll I'll tell all your tip please. friends. Would you ever tell your tip friends to okay. go out? Nina. They're awful slow. March 11th. <laughs> March 11th, Nina. Then I'm in Athlone and the Dean Crow on the March the 18th. Oh, the yeah. Lovely. The Every Man in Cork, back there, April 15th. Lovely. Then I'm back in tip in Brew Brew on the 21st of April. So that'll do. Very nice. And, then, and well, then I'm in Gory. Look at the dates. They never end. I go anywhere. Isn't that Great right? Stuff. <laughs> isn't Great it right stuff. for some? <laughs> well, thanks so much, dear. It's been a pleasure. I, I do. I've been wiring you for years. And Moon Boy, there's like plenty of stuff that I just think you're just brilliant in. Thanks. And I've often thought like, yeah, like I want another Irish comedy so we can all showcase or you know, oh like this we're so good at being in comedies it's just a matter of just getting it made or something I don't know we will we will plenty of time anyway you just keep doing what you're doing yeah like you're yeah. you're flying you're you just keep going <laughs> yeah. and thanks so much again for thanks for I, I, well, for I, I, I guess the believe in yourself believe in, in yeah. each other and yeah, <laughs> yeah. The cute and, uh, the cute you know that's, the that's, cute. that's that's what we'll take away from today just put yeah women support women I love, love that now. part of your freedom uh, yeah 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 Definitely. Right, Very so powerful so message you're getting back then. Say hi to my dad, dear. Really. Hi to Laura's dad. Kieran. Kieran the Bell. Yeah, what a man. What a man. He's single. Oh, you're not single. So. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have trouble finding the women. You could be, you could be, mama. No, <laughs> All right, let's leave it there. And, uh, oh, dear, just to be my mom. Okay, bye, bye everyone. everyone. Thanks bye. for, thanks thanks for, for dropping by. Deirdre Kane. She's like, I'm sweating. <laughs>